Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. I did just share this on Instagram. I did an Instagram Reels, so it's a really, really fast flip through. And I did an Instagram uh, Live. So, but I know not everybody on here is also on Instagram, so I figured I'd share it here too. This is a little custom made polymer clay ghost that I made. Uh, so this is my last one of these Halloween Traveler's Notebooks. I have auction, oh, there's a little skull in hand charm here. Um, I auctioned all, I'm auctioning both of them. The first one has sold already. The auction ended this morning. I don't always auction my items. I only auction a very few items. This is only the, it'll be the, the third item I've ever auctioned. I think maybe the fourth item I've ever auctioned, but um, I like to auction items off sometimes when they're a rare item that I'm, I don't intend on doing any more of. The first one I think I had one a long time ago, but uh, sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. This boo, the cutout for this boo was in the other journal, which I thought was pretty cool. So they're kind of like tied together. They're sisters. Um, I don't, <clears throat> I don't auction everything off, but I auctioned off the advent calendar because that was definitely one of a kind. I did end up making another one because somebody asked me uh, to make them one. So I reached out to them and I said, if you're very interested, of course, I would love to make you one. So all these pages are doubled back. This traveler's notebook is a little bit bigger than the standard size. Let me grab a ruler so I can show you. So it is nine by, it looks like a little, nine by four and a half, it looks like, um, which is a little bigger. I think the standard is closer to eight and, and by four-ish, but... I made the cover big, so I, I didn't have a choice. I had to stick with it. So this one's a little bit larger. It is very thick. I think there are five signatures, so 10 pages total. This, again, is my last item, most likely, for Halloween. I might do a few more of my little embellishment tubes, but I don't, I don't, I'm not planning on it, but I might. This is a little t-shirt. It says, hello, my name is Jack. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I figured that this is really cute and appropriate for this year. And it's zipped on like, you know, around your neck where it would always be. And then this zipper opens and there's these little ghosties poking out at you. There's two vellum pieces here. This piece is not through the back, so it's just on this page. Here's a little shaker pack or a little shaker zipper pouch. Inside the zipper pouch, I stitched along these little word phrases. I think those are Tim Holtz word phrases. It's just a little journaling card. You don't have to keep it in there. You can put it anywhere you want. This really cute shaker mix. There, oh, there is a bell. I'll fix that later. A bell and a little charm here. These ghosties move. This is my absolute favorite page. These little spiders dingle dangle and I absolutely love them. They're double-sided. I took puffy stickers. I double, I stuck one to this side, one, well, I stuck one in the back and then I stitched them on here. So I started up here, I stitched around the star and then when I got back here, I just came down a little bit and stitched the spiders on. So I absolutely love this page. This is definitely my favorite part about this entire notebook. Here's a nice journaling page with some really nice ruffle trim here. For this skeleton, I called him a spider in the YouTube live video. I didn't realize until I went back and watched it. Um, I put it in his, his collarbone and then I wrapped it down around his feet up here. And then I just opened up one of the little rings and clipped it back onto itself so it stays on. And I just love the sound and the feel. And this is a pocket here. It goes all the way through. This has boo in vellum. I printed it out on vellum. Here's another pot or another one of those little danglies, but this time it's a ghost, a bat, and a ghost. Look at how cute they are. I love them. And here I stitched this spider webbing. I figured it was cute for journaling all inside the web. Every piece of it is stitched. And let's see this. So this is how I insert this. So I leave, this is four layers, this is two layers. I just cut one of the layers shorter and let the other two layers stay long and I made it an additional little shaker pouch. And that's how I hold that in. You absolutely can make this bigger. I like the way it looks, just having a little mini shaker element, but you can, you can even make this a shape over here if you want. But this is just the little cats. I love the cats next to the house and the pumpkin. 
This page here, I stitched these sequins on, and this is only one layer. Mostly, I think every other page is double cardstock. Yes, except for this page. I really wanted this print to go here, and I really wanted this print to go here. So, I after I stitched these through, I didn't want the stitching to show on this side, so I covered it up with this crepe, crepe paper, and then I just kind of tore it up a little bit to give it this like rough, like messy kind of look. And then here, if you did watch my Instagram video, most likely you're probably not watching this video if you watched it there, but if you did watch, you'll have heard me say that this part is dr drives me crazy. I was so, I planned it properly over here. I was so prepared. I made the stitching line here and this one, I didn't figure, I didn't see it until it was too late. So this guy slides in and out and I desperately wish I had this stitched here, but it was too late. So um, it drives me crazy. I really, really don't like that I forgot to put the stitching there, but it was too late. I didn't have a choice. So this guy pulls in and out. I stitched a piece of cardstock about from here to here on just on the side of his face to keep him from coming out. And then I closed the edges so it doesn't come out. It, he won't come out, he's stuck in there. And then this side, he's the same on both sides. So I figured you can journal over him or over his face or you can just have him as a little peekaboo guy. And this piece here opens up so you can shove stuff back here. And then the last page, are these stars that I absolutely love at the moment. I'm going crazy with these layered stars. This is double-sided and that is it. So again, I will have this up for auction. I'm gonna try to put the post on any minute now or any moment. So to keep an eye out, if you're interested in, or interested in bidding, head on over to my Instagram channel. 